All right, welcome back to the next part of the series. Now, basically, we are going to now show you how to start converting your new model that you've got all set up into Z Modeler and everything set up. So we're going to go open Z Modeler. I will note um, we're going to do some adjustments to last time. Now, last time we imported as DDS. Um, we're going to go ahead and open our model first that we just saved earlier, which mine is Firo GT. At this point, you're going to want to um, rotate your model. So we're going to first go ahead and do that for anything. Um, we're going to do select quad R and we're going to do selective mode and we're going to select the model and um, we're actually going to go to uh, modify rotate first. You're going to select your model, select quad R on it and then you're going to hit hold shift and you're going to left click on it and you're going to rotate negative 90 degrees. So it's negative 90 from the clock. So negative going backwards going to rotate it to the left so negative 90 hit OK your models flipped and it looks like it's already centered and everything's good to go so now that you've done that your model should be shadered with just the textures it shouldn't be completely shadered and it should be positioned correctly into the um, the main open user window on the XY coordinates now once that's done um, you see up here we have one thing we have a problem we have everything's attached as one so what we're going to do now is we're going to do something we're going to hold shift and push deselect and it's going to deselect this model we're going to go over here now and we're going to go to uh, modify sub mesh detach and we're going to go to select we're going to go select by material but we're first going to go over here to the top right and click on the selective mode this little spec box up here it's going to change the mode we're in and you're going to left click on it and once you left click on it, you're going to go over here and hit buy material and you're going to hit the first material and select it. Now once it's selected, you're just going to click anywhere in the box that you selected the mode in. So if you selected in this mode, you selected and made these, this dot, these dots in this window, you're going, to select, you're going to click in this window. If you did it in this window, you're going to click in this window. I did it in this window, so I'm going to left click here, left click, boom. You see it made another... Um, it made another um, little uh, layer here. It detached some polygons. So that's going to be my rotors. So basically that's going to be part of my rotor. I'm just going to name it rotors. Um, those are done. It looks as if, yeah, those are pretty much unattached from the rotor. So all four are done. So I'm going to uncheck it so it won't select it anymore. Then we're going to go back up here again and go to this selected mode and do the same process and click again. Double click and material make sure you don't select any of these polys when you do this then you're going to go to number two and select and then left click again obviously when you left click this time nothing was attached so we're going to key and continue and click again so number three select left click boom so that's body shell if you see body shell boom done so then we're going to go up here again and we're going to select again and we're going to keep doing this all the way through that's body shell again through the entire car until shift deselect because um, I don't know if I select anything until we're done so we're going to go to 5 click off that looks like chassis and you can go ahead and name these as I'm naming them um, Clear those areas out. Six. Looks like Windows Glass. It's all the Windows Glass. Material again. Mode, material. Make sure you click on it. Material. Seven. Click, boom. That's interior. Boom, done. Select a mode again. Oop, uncheck that one. And just keep doing this for every single part. And these are the um, seals, the door seals. I forgot what they're actually called, but we'll name on that right now. Alright, and we're going to do the last one. I think this is actually just one more and we'll be done. It looks like lights emissive. 
Yeah. Because those are the lights that are missing. And then we're going to go do that again. Click again, mode, material, 10. Those look like, what is that? Is that a badge? So those are badges. And then go up here again. Mode again. Material 11. That's trim. Because that's going to be a. Yeah, that's the second trim. This is body shell, and that's body shell 2. So we have clear. So I have clear 1 and clear 2 there. So that'll be done. And then we have one more, I think. That's Windows Glass. Looks like we have a couple different windows here. <laughs> That's the insides of the windows. Oh, we're missing one thing, the license plate. And I can definitely tell that that's the license plate. So we're just going to call that plate. And that one's done. Now, basically, that's how you separate everything for now. And you should have everything done for the most part here. I'm going to re-select everything here. Uncheck all of this. I'm going to click off Shift D Select so it's unselected. Boom, now we've got our car completely torn apart um, and it's still shaded. So now we're gonna fix one thing that I totally forgot to fix. Now, we are working with DDS, so we're gonna, we're gonna actually convert all the DDS textures to PNG, bring them back in here and we'll remap it. Or you can leave it the same, but I'm just gonna leave it all the same because I already got all the DDS and everything fixed now for this next video. So I'll link that as well to the vehicle shares in DDS and PNG format. All right, and that's pretty much done for the DDS. So now what I wanna do just to get everything completely finalized, we're gonna go through, since we've got it chopped up, and we're going to shader the car and get it looking real nice. Once the car is shadered, we're going to add a wheel to it. And once we're done adding the wheel, we're gonna line up and bring in another car from GTA 4 that looks similar to this, which I'm probably gonna guess is the Coquette, because same body style, same length, long nose front short back with two doors and we're going to line up all the collisions from that car to this car and we're going to line up the dummies and everything and once we're done with that we're going to go ahead and put everything um, we're going to chop all the pieces of this car apart and name them the parts they're supposed to be and attach them so one is the door one's the hood one's the bumper we're not going to have a front a back bumper on this one we're not going to have a back uh, trunk opener which can have a hood door body shell chassis um, shocks pretty much that it's very basic on this model lights lights emissives badges stuff like that rip it apart put it and convert it into the car that it's going to be and then we'll pretty much be done with this now um, we're gonna go ahead and start now doing the shaders so we're gonna go to this red box up here click this red box and it shows all these little you know things up here and you can see there's a texture in every single one of them there's not one that doesn't have a texture and um, that's pretty much it yeah so uh, leave default material there we're gonna start at one and obviously if you uncheck these it kinda makes it disappear so everything's already mapped so these are all mapped basically materials right here is what makes the material locate and map it to the car in the positioning so it's checked. So when you uncheck it, it's showing the material and showing it off the car. It doesn't have any effect on if you click OK or anything like that and you uncheck it. You can always come back and check it. So you're going to do this for pretty much all this stuff and you're going to find out what is what and you're going to shader it. And basically every shader by shadering means you come in, you select this first part and you come down here and there can be up to five to six different levels for this car's texture to make it look good. Now these are just 
like the little hinges, the little uh, brake calibers. So these are going to have like probably no dirt, probably just stuff, uh, basic stuff. Now there's a list of this on the site, but it's pretty much simple. You can do this um, really easy. Um, there's a video that pretty much shows you how to convert this vehicle from this point. Um, and I guess I could link that to in the description as well. But um, yeah, you just go through and you're going to shader this. You can use that video and you can chop the car up as well. Um, and pretty much build the car up. And that's pretty much what you're going to do to uh, fix this. Uh, yeah, to get this car going. And like I said, after that, you're going to find whatever wheel you want to use. Um, you can use the wheels from the vehicle image file from GTA 5. Um, you can get that, like I said, on 7sins.com and get that, uh, or that vehicle image. And once you open it up, you can find the wheels in it and you can rip a wheel out of a specific vehicle or something and put whichever one you think would look good on this car because you can't really switch out wheels like, you know, like you can skins or colors. Wish you could, but you got to put one wheel. So find whatever one fits and you will bring it in here and put it on the car. And if you don't know how to do that, it's pretty much simple. Um, all the materials for it are already mapped. You just got to bring in the wheel just like you did the car here. And then you're going to line it up to the dummies. And like I said, I'll link the video that shows you how to actually convert the car and chop everything up below the description. But that's pretty much all I have to say. And this is pretty much my video showing you pretty much how it's done. And I will come back and pretty much, yeah, that's it. So. Um, I'm just going to end it right here, but I'm actually going to just end it on this part too and say what you're going to do to get the car in game is once you get everything working under the hierarchy and how it is in that other video that I'm going to link you to, you're just going to go up here and go file, export it, and when you export it, you're going to lock it if you want no one to fucking, no one to mess with it. PNGs, collision, slice model, don't store as textures, type in like your name or something in 2013 whenever you made it. And then tape the, type the name of the file name you're going to replace. So we're going to replace coquette. So we're going to put coquette.wft. And then you're going to export it. This is pretty much it. It's going to export. Then you're going to go to OpenIV Windows PC for 4 or for 5 if you're using 5's conversions. And then you're going to go to edit mode. You're going to go to a car image which will be wherever you have a vehicle image file you want to have a car in. So say you want to replace the coquette um, for whichever car you name it as. Um, and then you're going to go to it and see there's a coquette right there. You don't really have to, but I always do. Um, basically, you're going to open up. You have the WTD here. You're not going to delete this, but you're going to replace this. So you're going to go open. You're going to go to desktop, wherever you saved your coquette WTD. You're going to double click on it, open it, it's going to replace this WFT with that and then you're going to double click on WTD and you're going to delete everything in here and then you're going to import all the textures from your GTA 4 car which means the original 4 uh, whichever you have them imported as into this so I would say PNG so just do PNG boom 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 open import and then you're going to actually import the vehicle share in this too and there's another way of going this about this. You can actually just, if it did export through Zmodeler, if it did export a WTD with the coquette, so a WTF and a WTD, if it exported both of them for it, you can just go to your open IV and you can add the coquette and the, the, the coquette WTD and WTF to select both of them. Say if this is the WTF and WTD, hit open, it'll replace both. Then you control shift R, hit rebuild, rebuild the source, exit, go launch into your game, and that's pretty much how you do it. Um, this has been a tutorial by Dr. GTA. If you liked it, subscribe. If you want to see more tutorials, I'll probably have some later. This is a basic tutorial for beginners. Um, this is not too in-depth. I will be going in-depth further if you want to know more on this subject or maybe how to actually rip apart the car. I will make a video further on this later. Just let me know um, what you want. I have, I'm, I have a lot of uh, stuff to do, so I really don't have time to go into this intense process at this time, but I will in a further video if you guys are very interested in it, and I'm already working on current things that are very um, complicated other than this, so I will be 
available in the comments the section just get that going if you have any questions and I will get all your questions answered if you have any help and you need any help let me know and I'll try to help the best I can other than that um, thanks for watching this video and this has been great um, I'll see you guys later